What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Wednesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and get the homework out the way. Don't forget to like the video for me. It really helps out the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, drop your comments below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's slate. It looks like we have a 10-game NBA slate today. Let's go ahead over to Draft Dashboard. This is my research tool of choice, guys. If you want to check out this software, check the description of the video. There's a link for a 30-day trial for one dollar. All right, and they just added a new tool called the NBA Cheat Sheet, where they give you pretty much the top plays at each price tier, and of course, a couple of plays that are quote unquote locks for the slate. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, position optimizer is where we're going to start off at, guys. So uh, it's going to be a little faster video than normal because um, I'm on the road and I'm recording it. Uh, on my laptop, so if you hear a little buzz in the background, it's probably my laptop fan, but uh, please forgive me. All right, so at point guard, guys, first off, James Harden is always on the slate. You always want to play him. All right, even at 12.2K, this guy is that Rockets team. The ball pretty much stays in his hands, and the offense flows through him. So at 12.2K, that price is not too high for him, but I don't have him in my player pool because to me, that's a given. So, All right, but J uh, Drew Holiday. Um, this guy's prices came down since uh, Efrit Payton return, and at 7.7K, I feel like he's a great value. If you look at his history versus the team, he scored 41, 37, 48, and 68 in the past versus Cleveland, all right? And yes, his usage may be down a little bit because of Efrit Payton returning, but um, I, I got a good feeling about this one today. So, um, plus matchup versus New, uh, versus Cleveland. So, give me some, um, some Drew Holiday. All right, next up, C.J. McCullum. I think he's going to go under the radar. Again, this guy is hot and cold. He's a flash in the pan every now and then, but for whatever reason, he has Chicago's number. If you look at the last two times he's played Chicago, 63 and 53 is his DraftKings points. So, um, I'm locking him. I ain't going to say I'm locking him in, but he's one of my favorite plays on the slate at 6.5K. CJ McCullum, all right, averaging somewhere around 32 DraftKings points over the last three games. So, he has a nice five times four with some upside. So, give me some of that. Alrighty, I'm going to go down a little further. Jordan Clarkson, this guy's playing consistent minutes. If you look at his last two games, he's played 37 and 35 minutes in the last two games. So this guy's getting run. Alright, he seems to be a staple in this offense. So at that price, at 5.2K, we just need 25 DraftKings points to get to five times value. And this guy's been putting up 35 over the last two games. So Jordan Clarkson at 5.2K, I like him. Reggie Jackson, 4.6K. This guy's playing somewhere around 28 minutes on average. He gets a nice plus matchup versus the Lakers. Paced up game. Should be a high scoring game with 216 points over and under. If you look at Reggie Jackson's history versus uh, the Lakers, he's put up 27 or more DraftKings points in three of the last four games. So for a guy that's 4.6K, uh, give me some of that, man. He's uh, projected for 27 DraftKings points, which is more than enough for a guy that's 4.6K with some upside possibility there. So. Jerry Millian, if he gets to start, I believe Herter, or however you say his name, the uh, shooting guard that normally starts for ATL, is a game-time decision. Yesterday, he was out, and Jerry Millian tore it up. All right, I think Jerry Millian had like seven times value. All right, and Jerry Millian is still cheap at only 4.2K. So if Herter is out, Jerry Millian will be in a good amount of my lineups. So, all right, this guy here, Landry uh, Schmidt, um, he went off for like seven three-pointers. Now, I don't expect him to do that again. But the guy's on the 3.1K, and if we have J.J. Redick out again, and this guy's going to be getting any kind of considerable minutes, because J.J. Redick is a game-time decision. Now, do I expect him to hit seven three-pointers again? No, but he's 3.1K, guys. All righty. We only need, like, what, 18 DraftKings points for him to hit value? So, I'm, I, I have some of him in my lineups, too. D. Russell. Yeah, give, me, give me some D. Russell, man. If you ignore the last game where you only put up 11 DraftKings points, this guy's put up 45, 46, and 56 in the three games prior to that. And he gets an Atlanta team on the back-to-back, -back, meaning ATL is on the back-to-back. -back. So D'Angelo Russell, to me, he's pretty close to a damn lock at 7.6K. So give me some of that. Malcolm Brogdon going up against the Houston team. Paced-up team should be a lot of shots, a lot of back and forth between Houston and Milwaukee. And so at 5.4K, this guy's too cheap. All right, he's going to get you 30-plus DraftKings points. And at 5.4K, that's just what you need. So get you some Malcolm Brogdon versus Houston. No Chris Paul. Pretty much just James Harden and some scrubs. All right, get you some, some um, Malcolm Brogdon. All right, speaking of James Harden and some scrubs, this is one of the scrubs that's been playing a whole lot of minutes, Mr. Rivers. If you look at his last three games, 40, 42, and 43. So 
for me on draft and in, in our DraftKings and DFS, minutes equal opportunity. And this guy's gonna have a lot of opportunity with 40 minutes on the on the court versus Milwaukee in one of the highest over in the game. So Austin Rivers at 4.5K, in my opinion, he's too cheap. And uh, again, he's gonna be on the floor. He's gonna have a ball in his hand when Harden doesn't have the ball in his hand. He can get you some defensive peripherals too. So I like uh, Austin Rivers on this slate. So at shooting guard, you're going to see a lot of the same plays, guys, because of multi-position eligibility. But let's go ahead and break it down. So we got Jimmy Buckets. All right. So Jimmy Butler, again, Reddick could be out this game. And if he is, those shots that Reddick were taking is going to get spread out. All right. But Jimmy Buckets at 7.2K. We only need about 35 DraftKings points from him. If you look at him, he's at 31 and 34 in the last two games played. So this is a nice pace-up matchup versus this Washington team. Now, it's on the road, but Jimmy Butler at 7.2K maybe gets a couple peripherals when it comes to rebounds, assists, and maybe a couple of blocks, and uh, he pays off that 7.2 salary. So, I like Jimmy Butler on this slate. Zach Levine, 6.6K. He's playing 35 minutes now. Oh, yeah, give me some Levine, man. Let me throw him in my player pool right there, guys. So, Zach Levine, I didn't have him in my original research, but, man, he gets a paste-up matchup versus Portland. 208, and I think they're at home, Chicago. Ooh, no, they're on the road. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. But, hey, I, 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 I like both of the shooting guards in that game. Again, I already told you I like C.J. McCollum. I also like, um, also like my man, Zach Levine. So, give me some of that. All right, so next up, um, we already talked about Clarkson, Jackson, Lynn. Those are all guys that are point guard eligible. Evan Turner. So, right now, Maurice Harkless, I believe, is either questionable or out. Uh, oh, Evan Turner's already projected to start. Expected to start, so cool. At 3.9K, he could be a good value, guys. If you look at his history versus his team, he's put up 38 and 16 versus Chicago in the past. And so Evan Turner is somebody that you definitely want in your lineups at 3.9K. He's too cheap for, uh, for being a, a starter on that Portland team, and he does a lot when it comes to ball handling and some peripherals. All right, Chris Middleton, shooting guards, A.K. small forward versus Houston. He a lock, in my opinion, at 6.4K. If you look at his last two matchups versus Houston, he scored 48 and 38. That's pretty good. So at, um, we only need about 32 DraftKings points or more to hit five times value with a, with a nice little ceiling at 48. And so Chris Middleton versus this Houston team, um, I like him. We already talked about Austin Rivers. Gerald Green. And I'm going to go ahead and take him off. My apologies. I meant to put the other green. The small forward um, for uh, Washington. So let's go ahead and go on over. Speaking of that, let's go on over to small forwards. So at small forwards, who we got? Cool, cool. Of course, you got Giannis Antetokounmpo, guys. That's almost a given. Going up against Houston. Um, I believe he's on the road, right? No, he's at home. No, he's on the road in Houston. They're only a, a one-point favorite in Milwaukee. So in a 227 over and under game. So Giannis, I think he's almost... You know, he's, he's a pretty good player on this leg, guys. If you look at his history versus Houston, 43, 53, 51, and 63. But Giannis can put up a 75 points, and you, you wouldn't even be surprised. Okay, so definitely want you some Giannis. Well, I talked about Jimmy Buckets. We got my man right here, Mr. Damari Carroll. All righty, if he plays this game, I like him. He said he's, he was absent from the lineup um, in the last game due to sore left knee, but it's likely to play. So he had a game off, and he gets a plus matchup versus ATL who he smashed in the past. And so at 5.5K, we only need somewhere around 27 to 30 DraftKings points to hit value. All righty. So I like Damari Carroll versus ATL. Should be should be nice. And they have a couple of injuries on that team where he should get some extended run. Um, and they gave that knee a day to rest. So he should be okay. All righty. We already talked about Evan Turner. Like I said, I like Green. If Otto Porter, who's right now is questionable, he has some kind of issue with his thumb. The other day, and so if he doesn't play, um, I like Green. All right, Jeff Green right here. So that's the Green that I meant to um, to pick. Of course, you know Josh Jackson. If we get news that Devin Booker is sitting again with that back injury, Josh Jackson is another guy at five point two k who should be in a nice matchup versus Dallas. He should be able to hit you for 35, 30 to thirty five DraftKings points easily. So that would be a good value if Devin Booker is out. So next up, let's go on over to our power forward. At power forward, <sighs> Blake Griffin. I don't know if I can pay up for him. Uh, we already talked about Giannis. Anthony Davis versus Cleveland. With Tristan Thompson back, mm, 
I personally can't trust Anthony Davis, man. He goes to the locker room every freaking game. You know, you see the tweet comes out, Anthony Davis hit into the locker room, uh, you know, but I, I can't play him, especially on the 10-game slate. We got a lot of options. We can go in a lot of different du- directions. I personally can't pay up for Anthony Davis, so hey. Um, John Collins versus Brooklyn. You know, you you, you like to play Biggs versus um, Brooklyn, and we got John Collins, who's recently scored 43 points versus Brooklyn, so. But you got this guy. Here's a bonus right at the bottom. That's a tough matchup versus Boston. So I'm not quite sure, guys. Let me know. In that 7K range, who do you like at power forward? You got John Collins, some bonus, and TJ Warren right there in that 7K range. So tell me who you like. Drop it in the comments below, guys. All right. We already talked about Demora Carroll. Kenan Fareed. No, thank you. All right. So that's all my power forward. Oh, there we go. So we got Derek Favors. Man, look at this guy. 30 and 30 in the last two games. And he's only 5.6K. Get a matchup versus uh, Orlando where he scored 48 in the past. So at 5.6K, man, he seems like a nice, good sneak play. I don't think a lot of people are going to be on D favors, but he he, he grades out well. Because you can see right here we got green for his average for the last three games. And we got a green for his average versus this team. Now his minutes, as you can see, is averaging 23. But, again, the guy doesn't need a lot of minutes when he's getting a, a high point per minute. So I like Mr. Favors on this slate. All right, so that's all my small forwards. So, I mean, I'm sorry, power forward. So, last but not least, we have our center spot. All righty, guys. So, let's see where we're going to spend our money at on our centers. So, for me, I'm spending up for Joel Embiid. You guys know I love me some Joel, some JoJo. <laughs> and he gets a nice matchup versus Washington, man. Who on that Washington team is going to stop this guy? All right. I'll wait. Drop in the comment below. Who's going to stop my man? All right. At 10.8K, yes, he's a little pricey, but... You know, as we know, Joel Embiid can go off of 65, 75 DraftKings points. So I like Joel Embiid in this nice matchup versus Washington, which should be a close game, should be competitive, and uh, should be high scoring. All right, there we go. 228 with a three-point differential. So I like Joel Embiid. Duh. Rusevic versus Utah? Uh, no, thank you. But Drummond versus the Lakers. Now give me some of that. 8.6K for Drummond versus the Lakers? Who they have that sentence? No LeBron James. All right. I like Andre Drummond, 8.6K. He's pretty close to a damn lock. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. So, Clint Capella versus Milwaukee and all that length. Uh, no thank you. Now, go bear. I, 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 can, I, can get, I can get with some uh, go, go bear versus uh, this team. I believe Utah is at home, right? Let's see where Utah is playing at. Are they playing at home? Uh, right there. Yeah, Utah at home versus Orlando. Nine-point favorites. Rudy Gobert, he has a positive history versus this team. As you can see right here, he has 41 on average. He scored 33, 49, and 51 versus Orlando. So I'm going to go ahead and add Gobert to my player pool right there, guys. So definitely like some Gobert. Now, DeAndre Jordan, man, strictly GPP. This guy, to me, is not a lock. As you can see, he put up 43 in his last game, 24 in the game before that, and then 41 in the game before that, and then 28. So very inconsistent. But he has a nice matchup versus Phoenix. I couldn't ignore it, man. You see, we got all green across the board. Green, 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 green. So I could not ignore that, even though I I, I can't stand Dallas Biggs because they're so inconsistent. But he's just in a, in a great matchup. So DeAndre Jordan, have him in your lineups. Same thing with Tristan Thompson. Yes, it says that he hasn't done well versus New Orleans in the past, but Tristan Thompson is a major part of this uh, Cleveland offense. He gets a lot of uh, offensive rebounds and putbacks, and he put up 43 in his last game. So. Tristan Thompson at 6K is too cheap, in my opinion. He's paying heavy minutes. He's going to play 30-plus minutes, all righty, and he should get plenty of opportunities to score DraftKings points with blocks and rebounds and putbacks. So Tristan Thompson at 6K, to me, is too cheap to ignore, even on you know on his 10-game slate. So um, that's pretty much all my picks, guys. So that's my top picks, somewhere around 22. So on Draft Dashboard, whenever you go and select your player pool, once you're done, you want to come over to the lineup, optimize, and let Draft Dashboard optimize your lineup. All right, as you're going to see. All right, there we go. So let's say I like this lineup. You see, I have about $100 left on the table. So if I wanted to upgrade somebody like Kenneth Reed or, or downgrade another player, then upgrade someone, I could do that. Um, but long story short, you can say the lineup or you can or you can change each individual player until your liking. And then next up, we also have a mass lineup generator where you can click on this. And you can also go ahead and select somewhere between 10 to 100 lineups. Also select how many new unique players. The randomness is going to be, if you hover over this, you see it as quality players not in your player pool. So, all right, and then you can do your maximum exposure for how many, uh, how much you can have on one particular player. And click generate lineups, and then you're good to go, guys. So, 
All right, so let it build you a bunch of uh, lineups if you play a lot of lineups. But if you only play one lineup, you know, I would say hand build your lineup um, personally. So, all right, guys, so good luck on today's slate. Again, I'm on the road. If the audio quality um, is any different, my apologies. Again, um, you know, I should be back home by this weekend. So um, thank you guys for all the love and support. Don't forget to drop your, uh, a like on the video for me. Again, it really helps. Please leave your comments, guys. Let me know who you love, who you hate. And if you're new to the channel, thank you once again for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.